So the way to practice these things, uh, I would say the most important loading process is find someone who you can work with one-on-one -on, -one on a regular basis, ideally twice a week, where one session, in one session you focus on the other person, and one session you focus on you, and the other person is scaffolding uh, various techniques, and try out techniques that you discover. So this can be peer counseling techniques, this can be analytic exercises, this can be things that you pick up from uh, workbooks, like various creativity exercises from like creativity books. Um, you can even just like Google various things, right? Like creativity, uh, creativity techniques or, or uh, uh, what's a good one? There's a analytic, like the super forecasting stuff, right? Super forecasters. There's a whole listing of, of techniques they use in the back of the book. Um, uh, John Cleese just put out his creativity book. There's the De Bono creativity stuff and the, the what is it? The, the artist's way. There's, there's also like in any given domain, there's lots of these sorts of things. And as you prioritize cultivation in this manner, if you, you, you know, devoting three hours a week, because teaching, you actually get a lot out of, if you're the person holding space, hmm. you get a lot out of that too, because you learn how to hold space for another person is the same as learning to hold space for yourself. Hmm. Um, hmm. So it's, it's a double whammy. Um, so, you know, a, if you're spending three hours a week or 150 hours a, a year, um, that's going to add up very quickly to a bunch of skills hmm. that uh, you'll at least pluck the low hanging fruit of, even if you only spend a few hours each on the different ones, as you spend any time at all on, on various things. Um, and they're just different, different ways of, we encounter problems in our life, you know, most probably suffering, but suffering, you know, arises in 10,000 ways. Um, and you don't always just want to go straight to, well, it's all Tanha, so I'm just going to, maybe some of us will just pronounce and, and go straight to the mountain and, and work on Tanha. Um, but practically speaking, there's lots of fiddly ways that we'd also like to address it using emotional, analytic, creative, uh, intuitive techniques. Um, so setting aside the time to work, work on that. Um, and there's a bunch of emotional processing that like you, you want to front load the emotional processing that whatever, whatever objections in your mind arise around being able to devote three hours a week to, to cultivation. Um, that's the, that's the thing to, to start with mm. is, right. Whatever. It's just, just like with meditation, right? It's like, well, you have an aversion to meditation. Okay. Sounds like you have a great trailhead for your practice. Mm. Mm. Is this something that you do? And if so, uh, what, what kinds of things have you practiced with your partner? Uh, yeah, I, I've done it uh, with several people. Um, mm -hmm. So peer counseling is uh, the most common. Um, some, uh, uh, what would I call it? Methods-based philosophy of not, it's like practical philosophy, not, not just, um, you know, random bullshitting you know college dorm level bullshitting of philosophy but of uh investigating various techniques and trying to figure out how is this technique built and what's it really getting at and what, what are like what's a concrete problem we can try applying it to and um and yeah i keep wanting to emphasize like this should not be a slog if this if this arises if this arises as a set of obligations to be a better person that's that's the whole thing is that there's so many underlying prerequisites to this sort of thing like it's just it's just prerequisites on prerequisites on prerequisites right it's um prerequisites is maybe not the right word because it implies that this is an intractable problem but you can start anywhere right and then the objections that you have will show up and then you can do uh aspirational inquiry on those objections right like core transformation core hmm. transformation aspirational inquiry so that's one of the core skills Right. Easy to remember, core transformation, one of the core skills, um, because that allows you to uh, process the objections you have to do anything else that might be beneficial, trying, trying anything out that might be beneficial. Um, but if you can process that, uh, then you can just follow what seems to be interesting and fun, like deal with concrete problems in yourself and in your friends' lives.